Hey there guys, my name is Marcus and in this video I'm going to review Sending Blue. The first thing I'm going to review is pricing, then I will look on main features, then I will talk about the main advantages and disadvantages I see in Sending Blue, and the last thing is what is my extra recommendation if you should use or shouldn't use Sending Blue. Now let's just start. I'm not paid by Sending Blue to say that Sending Blue is the best email marketing software there is on the planet. I'm just going to give you my honest review. But yes, you will find affiliate link down below in the description. If you click on it, register for it, you will support me. I'll be so thankful for it. So let's go. Pricing. Now, I'll be damn honest. Pure honesty, okay? Pricing on Sending Blue is completely different and in my opinion, top notch. Let me explain. MailChimp, MailRide and others are about subscribers. So if you're going to have more subscribers, you're going to have, you're going to pay more money. But Sending Blue, on the other hand, look at this. So, free version, you can have 1 trillion unlimited content, but then you can have up to 300 emails per day. So, let's say that you're going to, I don't know, send 100 emails per day, every single day, you're going to have free account and you can have multiple contacts, multiple segments. So, free version is amazing in sending blue. But of course, if you're going to have if you want to send more emails per day, you need to choose a light premium or enterprise version. Now to go further, what I will like is this. If you're going to send 60,000 mails a month, you're going to pay 50 euro. But let's say that you're going to pay only 10,000, you're going to pay 20 euro. So this is really great and just amazing. Now you have the light and premium version, uh, which is like up to 1 million emails, Facebook retargeting ads. And you can see right here, the premium version or marketing automation is one of the best in my opinion and sending blue is great and i like these pricing plans because they are different now to go even further about the main features what do i think about it so you have the automation here which is great that you can like email series website tracking contact management and more but then these things i love that you can have sms campaign of course, you can have landing pages, that's simple. But then this is a winning comparing to MailRide and others that you can have actually CRM software here and chat. So you can implement, uh, you can talk with your vis website visitors in real time. So you don't have actually uh, like pay some live chat premium from somewhere, you can just use Sending Blue. And this is really great. But those transactional SMS and SMS campaigns are something completely on a different level. And you can like also Facebook ads here. And you can also have an inbox that you can directly message uh, with email with your contacts. Now to create a campaign, you can go with the drag and drop editor and you can choose the template gallery. This is the one disadvantage I personally see. The day is they are pretty, but in my opinion, they are all right. I mean, you can use them, but still, uh, they could pay designers to make them more prettier, in my opinion. So this is some some disadvantage I personally see. So let's just use I don't know Black Friday here, and creating it's fast. Like for example, Active Campaign is not that fast as a Sending Blue, but MailRide is also fast. You can simply change the title here, add the button where you want to add it. Right. You can change the background color to something else. Play around with the button, change the button color, and literally just edit the whole whole campaign. And then you can send a test mail or just send it. And send it blue is like it's just great. It's just great. I recommend doing it and using it. And, and what I want to show you is the last thing is sending blue reviews. So look at this: sending blue reviews 4.6 on Trustpilot, comparing to Mailchimp. Look at this 1.6 and they got like really bad customer support MailChimp and get response. Look at this 1.9. So you see it right by yourself that people are also satisfied with sending blue. And another thing is that customer support is top notch. They will help you with everything that you need to set up. And if you're going to choose sending blue, if you're starting out or if you got a medium business or even large business, you're not going to make a mistake. Now, what I would do definitely, if you want to go even larger, go with an active campaign. Like if you want to grow even bigger that you already are sending 50, 60,000 mails a month or weekly, I don't know, go with an active campaign. But if you're just starting out, Sending Blue is a wonderful tool, only because you can learn things here. 
the pricing is great that if you're gonna grow and get more subscribers it's just amazing and the light premium or enterprise version just test it out open a free account down below in the link in the description and yeah thank you very much have a great day and goodbye see ya